Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Arnavi Mitra and I am working in a fan company as a SD. So this video as you can see already the thumbnail, I am going to tell you how you can master DSA or how you can start learning DSA. So uh, I, you know that I am quite active on uh, TopMed and uh, in weekend I got a lot of call requests and in my uh, one to one session what I found that many of uh, students or fresher are asking the same kind of question like they are starting with some question and then uh, when they are trying to solve or they are trying to find one approach by their self they end up like uh, losing half an hour on wasting on that question and at the end they need to go to find the solution and they are keep on asking like is this the right way like in that way like every day to solve two questions they are uh, wasting uh, around uh, 45 minutes so is this the perfect way or like the question selection and all is it the correct way because they are able to solve question when something they can find in an SD sheet or any video but to solve question by their self it's going to be difficult so in this video i will talk about how the proper way you should start your dsa so that like you can solve step by step what are the mistakes you are doing what you should not do what are the proper resource you should follow so that even though you are a student or you can you are like noob at dsa you can master from beginning to end so all the things I will be covering in this video. So uh, I know the time is important. So I will divide this video to three parts. First thing I will tell what is the wrong thing you are doing so that you don't follow the same mistake again and again. The second thing I will do, uh, I will tell what are the exact steps you should follow to uh, start with DSA from beginning to like from uh, easy to uh, master it or from basics to uh, medium to advanced all the things all the steps and the third way i i would tell like what are the resources you should follow in every steps of your dsl lear learning phase for example you don't know the basics it's uh, really waste of time if you are going to solve any uh, sd sheet for any fan company preparation now if you are already done with your advance then what are the things you should follow for revision each and everything i will be sharing so without wasting any time let's start first part what are the mistakes you are doing and you should not do so if uh, you are feeling that you are in a same condition then uh, stand with this part of my video so that you can understand what are the mistakes you are doing so what happens like uh, suppose you are you want to solve some questions of array and you go to lead code and find a question of array now that can be an application of dynamic programming and you don't know dynamic programming you haven't learned yet you just know the array and you think that i will go step by step so let's first start with array and when you it may be a medium level question and you feel that i am not able to solve a medium level question of array and you will get disappointed so this is one of the uh, main thing i have seen many students and freshers are doing that you should not do first you need to learn like why you are not able to solve it all the tricks all the things do you know from beginning is it the issue or you don't know what is the algorithm is going to uh, help so basically all the data structures and algorithm are like uh, all together like when you are solving one question it can be uh, on a data structure but application of one algorithm so you must think like uh, if you know the data structure for example you know link list but this is an application of uh, dynamic programming on link list and you don't know dynamic programming then there it will be very much difficult for you to solve that question so I would suggest that at least first learn everything then go for solving or just solve those things which you already know for example you know link link so link list 
सो सॉल्व द बेसिक थिंग्स लाइक एडिशन डिलीशन और मे बी रोटेट वन लिंकलेज और फाइन इफ द लिंकलेज इट हैज अ सर्व साइकिल और नॉट दिज आर सम बेसिक थिंग्स एंड हियर यू डोंट नीड टू अप्लाई सम एल्बोरिदम्स दिस प्रॉब्लम्स यू कैन सॉल्व बट टू सॉल्व एडवांस लेवल क्वेश्चन और एल्बोरिदम एप्लीकेशन यू शुड लर्न द लिंक लिस्ट एंड डी पी टूगेदर एंड देन ओनली यू कैन सॉल्व सो माई सजेशन विल बी डू चेक बिफोर सॉल्विंग ऑल लिट सो इन लिट कोड यू कैन फाइन फॉर ऑल द क्वेश्चन देर विल बी सम टैग्स इफ यू फील दैट यू नो दिस थिंग्स एंड यू नो देन ओनली गो फॉर सॉल्विंग अदरवाइज डोंट वेस्ट योर टाइम बिकॉज Uh, if you are wasting half an hour only to think of a solution then i would suggest like better if you just uh, see a video and then uh, learn it and then solve it by yourself and then try to solve another question with the same kind of suggestion like same kind of uh, algorithm that will be one better approach so in the next part of the video i will tell you like what are the steps by steps you need to follow to learn like uh, what are the things you need to learn first and then go for practice and what are the second thing you need to learn and all all the things i will be uh, saying step by step so let's uh, go to the second part of the video okay so in this uh, here i will tell like what are the data structure topics and what are the algorithm topics and how you need to learn it so in this part the learning process i will divide it three parts first part like step 1 step 2 and step 3 so first part or step 1 here you need to learn all the basic data structures like array string linked list stack queue and heap or priority queue so i know that in your college level you already know the basics of the data structures so you just need for like completing this step 1 you don't need to like give a lot of time you just need to brush up like you know the theory you just need to come and do some basic course like for array you can uh, go and solve some easy question only the basic things covering the basic structures all the basic things similarly for linked list as i mentioned finding a cycle in a linked list this is a very uh, basic of a linked list stack or queue you can do the operations of like whatever the famous algorithms in stack and queue you can do those things for this it won't take much time but you need to just complete the basic so that you can be like uh, when you will learn the advanced algorithm you won't face any issue and especially when you are using some standard libraries for example when you are doing in c++ or in java collection library in c++ learn the stl and do the uh, basics because in stl we will use vector and vector has some function so you must be quite confident on using those thing like you can perform sort or reverse or you can use stack and queue all the things you should know so that's why i am saying just complete the basics quickly and if you are from c background and you want to move it to c++ obviously for competitive programming you need to move to c++ and you want to complete the stls and i would suggest go and check my stl videos there are only 3 videos and it only covers all the syntax and things you just need to know to do code in c++ if you are quite good at c now this is the, the step one this is i know for beginner level and each and every one who are my audience already knew it and if you are new student then i would say like the basics you can learn from books and then come and do some basic coding now i will move to the second part that is the advance uh, sorry that is the basic algorithm basic to advance algorithm that you must see for example two pointer so there are quite common uh, questions like two sum question three uh, some question four sum question this kind of questions are quite common and that can be solved using two pointer methods similar way binary search i know a lot of uh, like we all know what is a binary search like finding an element in a sorted array but once we know the binary search we can solve the questions like find an element in a rotated sorted array or find the peak element or this kind of question these are applications of binary search then 
you can move to the other algorithms like greedy algorithm the algorithms on stack and queue and especially algorithms of heap also the application of sorting algorithm greedy algorithm and finally recursion and dp these are quite advanced level algorithm but you can move like this like uh, basics to two pointers to binary search then greedy heap stack queue then uh, recursion and uh, dp so this is the second step and i will obviously tell you what are the resource from where you can prepare in the third part of the video just stay tuned for it now once you are done with first and second part and once you have completed the second part like learning means not that you will just go and uh, re read it from the book like in the karumanchi that i have suggested in my video from there you can uh, learn the algorithms uh, the book is very well written with the code uh, part of it so that you won't just learn the uh, intuition uh, behind it but also the code as well and also you can find youtube videos but go and solve these questions from lead code all the important question anyway you will get from lead code and once you will start solving for example once uh, suppose you have seen one video of binary search you have solved it lead code immediately go and suggest you a lot of uh, at least two three question with same pattern and that time uh, you will be able to solve the question by yourself because you have already a solve a question with the same pattern because those patterns are unique and if you know the pattern solving another question with same pattern won't be difficult for you that time you won't waste half an hour with thinking so this is my suggestion once you will complete the step one and step two that time that part won't bother you that you won't be disappointed on solving a question or you won't feel that you are still a noob by that time you are you can't say you are a master or expert but that time you are in a flow you are in a code flow and that time you can start your advanced preparation like for fang or product based companies or startups or mastering data structures and that is the time the third part of it coming the adverse data structures like tree graph try and also the advanced uh, algorithms applied on it so you can that time learn these things and prepare based on that now as i said all these uh, three steps you need to follow if you are strictly following these three steps then like you are on the right track and you won't face any issue regarding that now my uh, i will move to the resource because it's very much important nowadays whatever resource you are preparing so all the things i mentioned there are uh, i will soon come up with a chart with all the questions like if you are at step 1 what are the question you need to follow if you are at step 2 what are the question you need to follow all the things i will soon come up with a chart but till now whatever the available resource i am going to tell you the first thing you can obviously do you can go to gigs for gigs because here you can find you can search with any topic and you can find a lot of questions from beginning level to advanced level with that and as i mentioned for example you are learning the array and you know you know basics of array or vectors you can go to gigs for gigs and learn the basics so for this step 1 where you just need to learn the basic or um, be confident gigs for gigs is the ideal place now the step 2 uh, here like you need to learn the algorithm and where you can find the good resource so obviously karumanchi book is a very good resource for it you can go and check here almost all the coding question for each and algorithm is well defined uh, you can find from there if you are not going there then you can uh, do one thing uh, like binary search uh, stack queue and heap this four topics aditya verma's channel you can search in youtube aditya verma you can find his channel he has very good resources on it if you are following those things you just can solve any question on this topics now coming back to the recursion and dynamic programming you can check strivers take you forward strivers channel as well and also there is prep coding channel the dp part is really good there and then other uh, coming back to the advanced topic like tree and graph that also you can complete from take you forward channel 
so these are uh, some resource and for each specific topic as i mentioned you need to go and check this channel and this uh, resource you can go and follow and learn from there and don't just uh, learn and keep notes but as well as you need to keep practice on lead code because practice uh, you should develop a habit of practice and i'm not saying that you should not think by yourself uh, and like thinking half an hour is waste of time i'm not saying that but uh, i know that for some people times are really limited so be, uh, it's better you learn first and then suppose you have you know what is a binary search and suppose you come with a question where you know that question can be solved using binary search uh, just by seeing the constraint so if you haven't checked my video on constraints go and check that video for example if the constraint saying the value of n is 10 to the power n and there is some hint that the array will be sorted or something you can get that as a hint of binary search and then maybe it's an advanced level question of binary search do think of your end and then try to solve there is no harm in uh, thinking by your end but until and unless you know binary search uh, wasting uh, the half an hour thinking will be a waste but if you know then that time it's not a waste of time it's like you are giving time to yourself to learn so this is the whole process you should ma master dsa so i feel to have prepare a video like this because i got a lot of message and got call request regarding this like how one should prepare so i hope if you are checking this video and you are following this pattern then uh, you won't you guys won't feel any issue like this and soon you can prepare dsa and you will get confident and then you can start with any sd sheet to prepare your fang based or product based uh, preparation so this was my video if you like this video please like share and do let me know your feedback in my comment section if you are new to my channel please do subscribe my channel thank you